All right, so here we are, loading in for the tenth time. Will it work this time? Let's find out. All right, it looks like we are here. Back and stay out. And I have no graphical glitches. All right, we can actually start playing. <laughs> hey guys, my name is Kilo Whiskey, and we're going to be doing the Beaver Quest today. Uh, I saw a comment in one of the videos about it, and I kind of thought about it. It's it's a quest not a lot of people know about, and it might not be here after the, the new update that's coming out. Uh, supposedly in September, we will see uh, if it actually rolls out onto. For Steam, I hear it's already up for the client-based game, so we're gonna we'll find out. I'm not sure if uh, it'll still be around after then, but uh, let's get our stuff set up. Good thing I loaded my magazines before I got off last time. Pop a roast rat. Why not? Let's take some anti-rad pills. And I'll okay. I'm all ready. Actually, wow! I didn't even know that. Cool. So, Beaver Quest. Mr. Beaver is in the Bandit Cave, and he is going to be... Well, we'll head up here to the Bandit Cave at November 3, and he's going to be in the back. It's like a secret tunnel kind of area. Uh, let's see. Reputation. Bandits. Okay. I'm good with the bandits. Mercenary rep still sucks. I got to get that up so I can finish Vanya, but... Uh, let's rock and roll. Full disclosure, I did uh, make an attempt at this like a week or so ago. Um, I, I just want to take a gander down in the tunnel because I haven't been down that way in quite a bit. And I got destroyed by a bunch of brooders, so we're going to see how this goes. This time I'm bringing uh, my VSS and 107 plus... About 500 rounds for each gun, besides all the magazines. So, hopefully, I will be able to solo my way through the brooders and the blocks and everything else that's in there. Because there's quite a bit. I was actually stunned at how many were down there. And there was no one farming either. That's another big pain. If there was actually a couple guys in there farming, it would have been way less, but uh, let's, let's kind of hope there's some people up there farming this time. Um, but anyway, about that update that's coming out, so apparently there's going to be a lot of big changes to the game. Getting rid of personal credits, the map's going to get a nice overhaul, so like it looks really crude. Uh, the new map, I've seen it, it's on the new wiki. Of course it's raining. Stay out, why wouldn't it be raining? Uh, the new map looks good. It's got new detail. Looks like they actually changed a few things on there too. So like sanatorium here looks like it's no longer there anymore. And they moved uh, this set of buildings. Looks like it's gone and it's been moved up here. So it's going to be interesting. It's uh, going to be a big, big update so I can't wait for it. The new map that's coming out, the Black Forest map. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm definitely going to can I eat a roast rat. I know I ate a roast rat. Maybe I didn't use an injector. No, I did not. All right, let's get back rolling again. Hear a verloc. I see a verloc. Hi, verloc. Anyway. So uh, this new update that's coming out, it's going to be pretty cool. So I, it looks like there's going to be a new red dot site in the game. There's going to be a riser so we can finally put an optic on an MP5. Maybe we'll be able to put an optic on a Sega. Lots of, uh, you know, life improvements they could do. Hey, maybe they'll uh, make the beginning of the game a little bit easier for new players and give us... Uh, <laughs> more useful information for getting through the tutorial. It kind of uh, polished the translation a little bit. 
Nah, that would ruin all the fun now, wouldn't it? It's gotta be a struggle. And stay out, it's a, it's a fun game, but uh, you have to be a big fan of the Stalker series and like uh, accept the challenge that is this game. It's, it's not just, you know, hard like other games, it's, it's mentally tough. You have to get through some of their kookiness and some of the bad translations to play this thing. There's some guessing and luck involved too with the some of the translations are really off. Alright, we are coming up on the bandit cave. Smooth sailing, pretty quiet. If only we could get some sunshine. You know, it just wasn't raining. It's, you know, it's the zone. It's got to be shitty weather all the time. And you do get those few sunny days. It is pretty nice. I'm actually really excited for the uh, update coming out in September. New gun, the L96. It's going to be interesting. It looks like a PvP gun. But uh, i got to check the wiki again. For some reason, I'm thinking it only holds like four rounds or something ridiculous like that. It wouldn't surprise me. Harvesting yourself a boar there. Right, so we're gonna come up here, a little campfire down here. This is uh, a safe zone, but it's not a respawn point. Right before we do get to the bandit cave. Here we are approaching the bandit cave. And it's, it's, uh, this quest is kind of amazing to me, because, um, a lot of people know about the bandit cave. But I was shocked at the number of people that don't know about Beaver's Quest in the back of the bandit cave where you have to kill a crap ton of spiders just to get to them. So, so here we are in the bandit cave and we're going to pass the NPCs. And So this guy right here, Mole, if you do... you got to have your bandit rep above 2,000 something? 4,000 maybe? Double check the wiki and he'll travel you to New Land. Uh, I think there is a quest where he ends up hitting you over the back of the head with a hammer and then you wake up in New Land North. But uh, here we are. So we come back here, we see some cocoons. Run past these cocoons and we'll hit the teleporter and here we are. Going to the secret map. So this map's not even on the wiki. I I looked on the wiki and so if I bring up, it just shows abandoned warehouse. It's like, okay, this we're totally not in the abandoned warehouse map right now. So there is, uh, it gives us nothing, and then if we look over here at our mini-map, it just says no map. And it shows an NPC here, but, uh, yeah. So we're pretty much on our own. So we're going to come down here, and we're going to see a couple things. So we see some spiders crawling around, right? And I'm pretty sure that these spiders are just for show. They're not real spiders. Uh, so I'm just going to casually walk up to them. Now the real spiders should all... Yeah, these are just for show spiders. The legit spiders are down at the base of this cave. And I wish I had some Molotovs or grenades. But uh, So we're going to do a... We'll use a little technique here. There is, uh, like an invisible line right about where these rocks are. I don't know if it's, uh, this step or the next step, but we're about to find out. So what happens is, when I walk over this ledge, the spiders are going to get pissed off at me. And I, a lot of them are going to start coming up here after me. Okay. I'm trying to use my camera to look down there. I don't see. Maybe somebody came down here recently. Maybe I'll get lucky. 
we'll have to find out. Usually what I do is uh, there's a lot of spiders that come up here after you. So I'll gun down the spiders using that ledge to my advantage. But it appears that someone must have... I don't know, maybe some guys down here farming the spiders, who knows. So we'll be able to get down here to Mr. Beaver with uh, out the drama, I guess. Running up, up there's over here. They come, they're respawning on me. One just respawned. Great, it's gonna make my exit more difficult. It's all right, I guess. Oh, there's a spider. It's kind of hard to see in here. I might have to turn off the lights. It's like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that made it a little bit easier with that glare on the monitor. Alright, so let's try to get through here. And the spiders should only chase you up until uh, this rock, I believe. I haven't come down here and done this quest in a little bit. So uh, they, they'll chase you to that upper rock and to this rock right here, I believe. Like I said, it has been a little bit, so we're inside this cavern here. And we're going to take it easy coming down here. We don't want to kill ourselves and... Like that. That is exactly what I was trying to avoid. So Mr. Beaver is further down this way. Uh, and I can... It, it's kind of like the, the stupidest falls in this game hurt you. That's kind of annoying. But So we're going to go around. And we hear that waterfall. So this cave, I believe, is connected to uh, the Spider-Con cave? Or it was in... Can I not... I guess I can't. Am I exhausted? Really? I'm like thinking I'm going the wrong way. Come on, let me up. There we go. I don't know, I probably made that more difficult than it needed to be because I remember having to walk around this way. Because now you can just casually come this way versus, you know, if you jump off that ledge, you can kind of slide down that hill, I guess. I didn't think about that. You could go right there and slide down this, you know, so you don't lose half your health and stamina. Right, let's get down here to Mr. Beaver. He should be halfway down. I don't know. I'm guessing. I'm losing all my stamina. Ah, yeah, here, there we go. He's up right over here. Now, if we continue going. I guess for the video's sake, you know, I could go down there. Okay, let's see. Alright, so we need a long rope to get him out. Um, I think there's more spiders down this way. I'm just, I'm going to walk down here, but uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure this is a dead end. We're going to get down to a point where uh, there's just water kind of just coming out of the ceiling, I think. There's like a, if I got to fight a crap ton of spiders, I'm probably just going to leave. 
because it's going to make it longer than it needs to be. Yeah, that's what I thought. So we're coming down to this room, we have this waterfall. And for the quest's sake, you have to find the top of this waterfall, I believe. So we got to find... Uh, we have to go up there and then throw the rope down to Beaver to get out. Is, uh, is the quest. It's been so long since I did this quest. I've played all the different iterations of this game from... You have, uh... Stalker Online, which is the client base, S Zone, Anomaly Zone. Um, I played all of them. They're all a little different. Come on, am I stuck? All right, Mr. Beaver, we're gonna get you out of here. been so long since I did this. I remember that rope being heavy too. part where I fall and die. I mean, that would actually kind of help me out, though. That would take me back to the uh, inside of the bandit cave. Bit of a fast travel. I didn't even think about that. I could totally just get out of here by suiciding. Where would the fun in that be? Where am I going? I gotta go up here. Oh, I might actually die. Okay. Uh, I think I gotta walk up that way. It's kind of a maze of rocks. Ah, yeah, okay, so... Yep, 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 yep. I see what you did there. It's a puzzle. Instead of walking back over this way, I should have kept going that way. We meet again. Come on. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> Come on. There we go. All right, so we gotta go this ledge. To get up this way, to get up and down. Can I crawl up that, or I gotta go this way and crawl up this? Don't fall. There we go. Look, we did it. Don't die. Okay. I still have to kill all the spiders. Yay. Hear them all. Spiders. Okay, so there's like an invisible wall right here. I can just kind of chill behind this invisible wall. I don't have to worry about. Let me let me find where the tip is. There's the tip. 
And that's where they stop giving a fuck. Alright. Get all of them. Oh, oh. Straggler. More. Out of bullets. Come back in here. Come to me. Alrighty. Uh, you know what? Why don't I butcher one of these guys? Just oh, come, oh, come on. Yeah, of course. Decided to butcher one, and here they come. No items were found. Ain't that really? I'm not going to do all of them, I'm just going to grab a couple. That was just terrible. Alright, let's get out of here before they come back. One of my main motivations for doing this is like, I looked at the old wiki and I couldn't find the quest anywhere on the wiki. I also looked on the new wiki and I couldn't find the quest. I was just kind of, or the map or nothing. So I don't know if it's like, if it's like a secret thing or if it's like something forgotten. But I was like, you know what, let me, let me do this before um, it possibly goes away or something, you know. I don't know if they're... Planning on changing quests after this new update that's coming out, but I figure it's pretty fun. All right, so we're back into the bandit cave. So that wasn't too bad. I mean, <laughs> that was just to get the quest. So just to start the quest, you know. Um, now let's go journal up, down, back, and forth. I think. Yep. Uh, a guy named Beaver got stuck in the tunnel leading to a deep underground bandit cave. Uh, let's see, so... We'll help you get a long rope. So, Fender. So, what I can do is I can go over here. Scroll down to Fender, because I've already talked to this guy. He's part of the refugees. 27 personal credits with this particular vendor and he's over here by chestnut okay I already kind of knew that but so this is where we're gonna be going we're gonna go back to the first city and talk to mr. fender I, I, I think he, either him or chestnut you got to do like a cooking quest for you get some dog heads you can then take those dog heads and sell them on the board for more money, or you can sell them to Gourmet for money. You sell them to Gourmet to get personal credits. Don't remember. Alright guys, I'm fast forwarding through this, but I'm going to have to cut it, and we're going to part two this thing. It's just a really long quest, so we'll pick up where we left off in Beaver Quest Part 2.